So here's an episode on liquid coolers that might be of interest to you guys. They're pretty popular, but a question we get all the time is what kind of fan configuration should you run on them? Not like this, please. So in this episode, we'll be showing you Corsair's all new H75 liquid cooling unit, as well as some of the sensible options for fan mounting that you could use for it. You may have noticed this one has duct tape on it. Don't worry, more on that in a little while. So it actually comes with two SP120L fans. So these are pressure optimized fans that run at lower RPM and they, unlike their regular SP retail fans, do not come with the rubber isolators in the corner or the color changing rings, but they use the same blade design and the same motors, so they still offer great performance. We used our zero point test bench, so that's the one that you can see in a separate video. It's like our reference system with a 4670K, overclocked to four gigahertz, four dims of memory. It's got a GeForce GTX 760 or something like that, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's a 760. And we wanted you to be able to compare it against other cooling configurations that way. We also tried, so in addition to the retail SP fan and the included fan, they're all new AF series with LED Ds. This particular one, check this out, is purple. I don't think the system's powered on, but I can do this. Oh, no onboard, no onboard power switch. That's okay, we'll just short it out. Eh. Come on, short out now. Yes, it's on, all right. And then we'll find a fan header. Go fan header, go, 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 yes. Kids, I never recommend doing this. Ah, yes, purple, there it is. So we not only ran all these different kinds of fans, but we also ran them in different configurations. So we get the question a lot, is it best to run in push, in pull, or in push-pull with two fans, one on either side of the radiator? So for the methodology, we used Intel burn test on maximum stress test, waited for temperatures to top out. It takes about 15 minutes for it to reach equilibrium. We used a thermometer to monitor the ambient temperature, and then we normalized the results to 20 degrees Celsius. Celsius. It should be noted that all the ambient temperatures we ran at were about 20 degrees Celsius, so this method does work. We then took an average of the temperatures between the four cores on this quad-core CPU. So in terms of results, push-pull is king. The best configuration was the SP120 and in push and the AF120 in pull at 74.5 degrees. The worst dual fan configuration was the AF in push with the SP in pull at around 77.6 degrees, but these are still pretty close to each other. For single fan configurations, all of them were pretty close, within about a degree of each other, with the exception of the AF series fan. Remember, airflow fans are not optimized for pressure sensitive applications, so they're better for open case fans as opposed to up against radiators. We should have known this already. So that one was the worst configuration. Our ghetto mod was actually better than AF120's in push pull and only lost to the SP120 push AF120 pull configuration. So the dual fan configurations or the ones with the, uh, the two SPs because as I noted when I was uh, talking to wheels about this. One of the issues with Corsair's fans when running in a pull configuration is that they tend to, because of their rounded frames, pull air in from the, the surroundings rather than only pulling air through the fins of the radiator. So that's why they tend to perform better in push than pull because in theory those configurations should be exactly the same. Now that's not to say that we necessarily recommend duct taping your fans to your radiator, but it was just an interesting thing to check out from a purely academic standpoint. So so thank you for checking out this episode of NCIX Tech Tips on push-pull as well as the benefits of a static pressure optimized fan such as the ones that come with the H75 or Corsair's SP series versus airflow optimized fans as well as push-pull, which I think I already said once, but I'm going to blame the script even though that's not even in there. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com.